Welcome back to The Factor Uncensored. Finding love may not be the hardest part for some people. Rather, keeping the love alive requires the most effort. Joining me now to discuss how to restore love are pastors Terrence and Torsha Johnson. And of course, like many situations, the pandemic broke us all up. Yeah. But it's affecting still to this day relationships in various ways and different forms of relationships. And you guys are trying to help the community get those relationships back, whether it's friendship or love. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What yeah, have you, you know, guys seen out there as a result of the pandemic? Man, you, you know, when we was thinking about the pandemic and just the impact that it's had on people and mental health, you know, of course, relationships, uh, just so much domestic violence, so many divorces. And, um, you know, I was just talking to my wife that it's not, it was not just a pandemic, it's a relationship pandemic. Mm -hmm. uh, just all over the country where you're seeing people uh, just don't want to get married or divorces. or I mean, it's just skyrocketing. And I think just the fear of hearing that, you know, and seeing that throughout the country, uh, is really causing people, man, I don't want nothing to do with relationships. So we feel like we got some answers, right? We feel like we have some answers to address those fears, uh, to really help uh, families, you know, to build strong, healthy relationships so that we can ultimately raise strong and healthy children. Definitely. Absolutely. And, and Torsha, what kind of problems could this present for society if people are getting divorced in record numbers, people are not interested in marriage any longer? How is that impacting society from your perspective as a religious leader here in this community? Yeah, well, it's affecting us, you know, within our communities. We believe, you know, our church is only as strong as the people within the community. So if you have a breakdown of the family within the church and within the community, within our city, state, nationwide, I mean, you can look around. You can see it from the amount of crime that exists right now in the city of Houston alone. And when we always go back statistically and look at those numbers, you find that the homes are broken, the father's not there. And we really do believe it's because of the relationships. And when you don't have that strong foundation when it comes to relationships, well, you end up with broken homes, broken families. And as a result, the entire community suffers as a result. And pastors, are you guys getting people in your congregation coming to you for counsel in situations like this where they just don't know what to do? They don't know how to handle that relationship now. Yeah. Record numbers. Record numbers. Record <laughs> yeah. numbers. Record numbers. It's like I love her, but I just don't know how to handle conflict. I just don't believe people, you know, we do this thing not so much falling in love, but learning how to build a loving relationship. And I think just, you know, we're trying to build a relationship, no blueprint. And it's one thing to have a brochure when you're building a house, but you need a blueprint. And, and Torsh and I, we've been together 30 years. We've been married 28 years, still love her and like her. You know, <laughs> that like is important. <laughs> Come on, man. Like, love her and like her. Mm -hmm. And we just feel that, you know, we made some mistakes. Uh, didn't didn't always do everything right, but we found answers, you know, in our faith, in the Word of God, and we was able to come through that. So we just want to show people our scars to say, hey, if it worked for us, we believe it can work for you. And of course, one thing that you guys mentioned, because you are pastors, we're seeing fewer people go to church as well as a result of the pandemic. When they were no longer required to be in that building, they did not go, and now some haven't returned back. Is that also an issue of trying to get people back into the house of God? Yeah, definitely. I know at Higher Dimension Church, you know, we just recently this year saw where people are filling the sanctuary, you know, like they did pre-pandemic. But you have some, some Sundays when it's not like that. And that's why we are very intentional about serving our online audience where you can stream in each week because we just know some people have decided that they are going to be hybrid members. They're going to come when they feel like coming and they're going to watch watch online as well. <laughs> yeah. You got to take the word to them the best way you can.